So everybody's asking about out season, you know, out coins. Jay, when is out season? Jay, when are my shit coins going to the moon? Jay, Elon Musk tweeted about Doge. Is it a good coin? All right, so although we're not covering Doge today, we are covering altcoins. We asked you, our beautiful community, which coins you wanted us to do a price analysis on, and we chose the top five most requested coins. So, are your out bags going to the moon? Or are they going to snooze? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Just kidding. Find out now after this brief, super cool intro that causes my export time to take 10 times as long now. Hey, what's up guys? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys learn how to become profitable and successful traders and investors. The goal of this channel is to empower you with the resources and knowledge to help you get to that next level. So make sure guys to subscribe, like, and share this video as we continue to spread knowledge and mass cryptocurrency adoption. Alrighty guys, so the first coin that we're starting with today is ADA Cardano. That is right, we got that requested. So we are going to do a price analysis on ADA right now. So we like to do top down analysis. So we start usually around the weekly just to kind of get a, an idea of the big picture and then we slowly zoom in to about four hours or so. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and mark is this top right here, right? So this is that exact $1 mark. So let's go ahead and uh, put a nice little resistance right here. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and draw a Fibonacci retracement level on the uh, move here from the bottom to the all time high. Uh, and let's see, just, just kind of to get an idea, you know, let's see what that gives us, right? So start it there and go to uh, about there. It looks like 140. Let's look at the levels and see if they make sense. So obviously that dollar mark is a huge um, psychological number. Um, so it's gonna play a big role as you guys can see right there at that dollar mark that's where the rejection was um from that all-time high the all-time high was up here but it got rejected and this is where the most price action was at that dollar mark psychological that's market psychology right dollar mark big whole number then as it went down it retraced basically you know over a hundred percent because this this would be 100 percent retracement here as you guys can see, it broke below that there and it's kind of, it was below that for a while. But this line does tend to have a lot of price action if you look here, right? So there's a whole bunch of price action. And then finally we had to take off here and we got stopped right here, which happens to be that 78.6% Fibonacci level. So you'll notice that this is currently where we're at. And you'll notice that there was, uh, this is why there's price action there, right? There's There's been a lot of price action in this same area. So this happens to be that 30, around 35 to 40 cent range, 35 to 40 cent range. Um, there's a Fibonacci level here. Uh, there is prior price action here. Um, and now we're there again. So, um, that's currently why we're getting rejected there. Um, we need to break through this so that we can go ahead and shoot up to about to the next Fibonacci level, which is which is 61.8% golden ratio, right? Now, one number to keep in mind on its way up here is this 50 cent level. As you guys know, it's it's a it's halfway to all time to you know basically the all time high. Um, it's a big whole number. So it's something that you have to watch because there will definitely be resistance there in that area. Uh, but I suspect as soon as we can break this and break that 50 cent barrier, we will be able to 
come up right about that 60 cent that'll be the next resistance there which is a 61.8 percent fibonacci retracement zone so what am i looking for if i'm looking to enter a trade here i'm probably waiting for a breakout above this right but that's probably a longer term play so let's go ahead and zoom in a bit because we're looking we're literally just looking at the big picture at the weekly and uh you know pointing out levels from that um so if you zoom into the daily this is what the daily currently looks like so on the daily you can see there is a bull flag wow that's a terrible line boom you know boom this is a bull flag guys so um it's currently you know bouncing around right here it's gonna bounce around uh and we're looking for basically a breakout so if i'm looking for a breakout here um i'm probably looking above these candles right here that seems to be the spot right um so i think if we see a break above this 35 cent range then we can test this 36 cent range right so it's not the the reward wouldn't be enough there to take this breakout entry so the breakout entry you probably want to take is above this fibonacci level or above this prior high so um so those are the three different opportunities or three different entries you could take you could take a breakout above those candles a breakout above the fibonacci level or a breakout above the previous high um, if you're looking to buy on a dip and if it does dip then you're probably looking to buy down here um, which that's more around that 25 cent zone so next on the list of outcoins is drum roll please chain link First thing we're going to do is go ahead and set up this Fibonacci retracement from the bottom of the move right here to its previous all time high. We're currently looking at it in the weekly time frame. So you guys see that $20 is the all time high on Chainlink and we're very, very close here, right? All right. So we're currently at $17 you can see there was some price action here currently in the same area that we're at so that's it looks like that's kind of has something to do with why we're currently stuck there but the, i mean the next move is is to retest these this 20 dollars high now as far as an entry it's kind of tough because you're as you guys can see this is just you couldn't range here you know what i mean so you don't really want to buy in the middle of this. You, if you want to buy, you're looking to buy either on this Fibonacci level or on the next Fibonacci level, which is where we saw a bounce right here. So um, another thing about about Chainlink is that it respects basically every 50 cents. It respects that those levels. So you basically want to play 50 cents to 50 cent. Not the wrapper. You're playing whole numbers on chain link right so the the main number here on a dip you're probably looking at $16 uh, $15 and then this drop here came to about $13 right that's um, with this fib level here as well so that's gonna be the main uh, levels you're looking uh, to enter I would probably try to find one of these supports and maybe um, you know I would enter a little bit there if it continued down entered a little bit there if it continued down beyond that enter a little bit there because you see over here there's a lot of price action a lot of uh, buyers there um, so those would be the levels I'd be looking to enter and kind of averaging down now if I'm looking for a breakout entry I'm probably going to be looking at above these candles right here so um, that's $18 as you guys can see there uh, and then the next entry would be above the all time high, which is right above $20. So I'd be looking to enter that breakout because that'll probably shoot it up. The next coin that we're going to be looking at is Litecoin. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look here. As you guys can see, all time high here is around that 420 area. Hmm. Interesting. Then it got then it got rejected all the way back down to about that $20 area. So literally the $400 rejection from 420 to just 20. And now currently you guys can see that we're right there on this Fibonacci level. We're right at that 61.8% level, which is of course the golden ratio. And that's where we currently are. Let's go ahead and zoom into the daily. 
All right, so I added another fib retracement um, to this current uh, jump that it's currently in just to get a closer look on that. So the yellow lines are the all time high fib retracement levels. The green ones are this current runs fib retracement levels. So, you know, on the long term, we're currently on that 61.8% uh, fib level. That's kind of where we got rejected. And, and then we dumped all the way back down to that 38.2% uh, fib level on the short term uh, retracement. So you guys can see there was a lot of price action here. And then that's why we got the buyers coming in here that had us hit that bounce. And now we're currently at that 23.6% Fibonacci level. So not only are we at that uh, Fib level resistance, but we're also at that $150 resistance. Remember, market psychology, whole numbers, right? So if we're able to break above that 150 and this Fib level, then we should definitely be able to see around that 175 range and then this previous high right up here, which was around 185 ish. If I'm looking for entries here, um, I'm looking for a breakout above this candle probably is what I'd be looking for. Um, that's right around that 156. Um, if I'm looking for support entries, then I'm looking at these levels right here, including the uh, longer term FIB level. So that would be around the um, 130, 115 and 100 areas is probably what, what I'd be looking at. Alrighty guys, we got two more coins for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure if you haven't yet to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and share a comment. Let us know which of these coins are you invested in? What price did you jump in? And what, what are the profits like? Let us know, man. Let me know, man. <laughs> and let me in on some of those profits if you made a lot, but we'll talk about it later. So the next coin that we will be looking at today is drum roll, please. Polka dot polka dots, obviously a new coin. So there's not too much history to go off. So let's go ahead and jump right into the daily um, on the daily. You can right off the bat see this bull flag here, right? So you guys see the bull flag, boom, boom, and then breakout, right? Classic bull flag breakout there and currently the high is $13.20 that is a new all-time high right so let's go ahead and put a fib retracement tool and now we can kind of get an idea where we can expect some bounces um, if we are to come back down right so you see that uh, where we were bull flagging was at this 38.2% fib level all the way down to the golden ratio, 61.8%. Um, so we flagged all the way down, boom, we had the breakout. Now we have new all time highs. Uh, and then we're currently probably going to consolidate a little bit here, maybe see something similar to what we saw here. So we could definitely see something like this. And then uh, before seeing a retest and possible breakout of a new all time high. So if I'm looking for a trade, I'm looking to enter either at this support right here, that 23.6% Fib level, or I'm looking to enter above this previous high. Those would be the two entries I'm looking at. The last altcoin that we're going to be looking at today is XRP Ripple. That is right, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look here. We all know exactly what happened here. We were taking off, right? We're about to hit that $1 mark and boom, we got all this bad news and that just killed this entire move, right? XRP would have definitely broke this $1 mark and probably taken off towards $2. Um, I, I would, it wouldn't be a surprise if it would have been at $2 by now. Um, but because the whole thing with the SEC, it just kind of killed this whole momentum up momentum that we had. Now, I do not think that anything really too bad is going to happen with XRP against the SEC. So um, I believe, you know, there won't be a huge takeoff until there's more clarity on the situation. So if I'm looking to enter a trade here, um, in XRP, I'm looking for a breakout out of this bull flag. So I would probably be looking above this candle right there. 
so right around right around there probably it's around that 32 cent mark right um that's kind of where i'd be looking to enter uh because i want to catch that breakout the breakout will probably lead you know to these levels and to test this uh fibonacci retracement level and a breakout beyond this fib a breakout beyond this fibonacci retracement level will shoot us back up to that to this next level the 61.8 percent golden ratio which also happens to be the 50 cent mark as you guys can see there was a lot of price action here right at 50 cents and last time that it broke 50 cent look at that take off all the way up to almost a dollar so um that's the level that i would be watching right now for uh, xrp looking for the breakout above this bull flag looking for the breakout above this Fibonacci level and then looking for a takeoff. So that is pretty much it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. You know, we did an altcoin price analysis on five different coins that you guys chose. Um, and we might, we might turn this into a weekly thing where every once a week we'll give you guys the choice. Um, and you guys give us five different coins to do a price analysis on and we'll go over them and uh, talk about different scenarios and possible trade ideas. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys found value in this video, go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment. Let me know how this video has helped you. The more you guys engage with this video, then the friendlier that YouTube becomes with it and spreads it more, you know, and if they spread it more then we see it and we're like, wow, these guys really like this video and we'll continue to make these videos for you guys. So that's, that's really all it takes. So I will see you guys on the next video, which will be tomorrow. And we will do a full analysis on Bitcoin and Ethereum. As always guys, peace and love.